hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about the TV series, do a series review of The House of Haunted Hill. Oh my freaking god. Oh, okay. I cannot express to you how much I love this series. I just finished it today. It is a 10 episode long series. It's based loosely based. I would say it's loosely based on the house of Haunted Hill. I have not read that, but I will. I'm going to be listening to it after I listen to the book I'm totally listening to, which, yeah, because I just want to see, like, some of the differences, and even if it's loosely based, I just kind of want to see what, you know, what, um, what this is all about. But the TV series is about a family that grow up. They're basically, um, they live, grow up in or spend some of their lives in the hill house on um, this house. And um, it's a really good, really, really good uh, show. It's really interesting. Like, I mean, if you, it's a psychological thriller at the very least, but for me, I feel like it's more than that, because it has creepy ghosts and stuff like that. It's got, like, time, um, the passage of time, like, what really time is, which is a really interesting question. It's got, um, the themes of death and grief and loss. Um, so yeah, um, and it's very interesting, like I love it so much. Um, also, if uh, some of the episodes focus on one character, so it'll be like, oh, you realize their story and how things are connected, like to what's causing, like the house is itself haunted, but it's also like really creepy because it's like the time if you realize like what's causing the the door's handle to move or what's causing, you know, this, you realize that it's not it's like a passage of time. It's it's really it's hard to explain. You gotta watch this. It's so good. Um Mike Flanagan directed it. He also does a lot of my favorite movies like Hush and Autoclist, which I highly recommend those two movies, amazing, and he did a really amazing job with this, I didn't even know he was the director of this, and I loved it so much, I love the acting, the acting is superb, the camera angles are superb, the way it's filmed, the storyline also is really superb, like the passage of time is very like surreal um, in it, just because you don't really know, like, you know what's happening, you're in there with these families trying to figure out what happened, what happened to the mom, you know, there's always these suspects, suspense, so like, at first I thought, well maybe the dad killed her, but I was like, I don't think so though, because it doesn't seem like he's that type of dude, like, he's not the type of dude that, like, you know, but, um, it's, I thought that in part of the, um, series. Also, I, um, thought so much stuff. There's, like, so much stuff that you learn about the characters. You learn about, like, each of them individually. And I like that. You know, you focus on not just one of the characters, like, the main character in the show or something. You focus on each and individual characters in the show, like, of this family. So it's really good that it does that. I think that's amazing that it does that. Um, and it's also about love and loss and stuff like that. And, you know, it's really good. I highly recommend it. Five stars for me. Um, if I was to rate it, um, but it was amazing, like, just some of the things that they see, some of the things that they hear, just really creepy stuff that goes on, and how the house kind of, like, keeps these memories, and there's also, like, I hope they do another season 
um, kind of explain the other ghosts. I mean, there's more than one ghost, and yeah, um, the because in the end, it you know has it. It. I want. I want more exploration about the other ghosts in the other series. So like, what happened? To the other ghosts, I think that would be really interesting to learn their background and how they're related to Hill House and why they died there. Of course, we know some other people that were in the in this first season that died there. We know who's all in this first season that died there. So, yeah. Um, also, it's very surreal of what's real and what's not as well. Um, I think it's really interesting in that because there is a character that said that she's not real and then she is real. So it's very, um, yeah, very interesting I think, you know, because, you know, she portrays that she's not real but then she portrays that she's real. So, and then you find out that she's actually real. Um, yeah, that's a really interesting Point. Another thing is the mom slowly descends into madness throughout the series. So you're like watching the series and you're watching between flashbacks. So you're watching um, before the disaster happened and then after the disaster happened, kind of before and after type thing. And um, really, really love that design as well. I love this show. Thumbs up for me. I absolutely love it. I, if you want to, I would definitely um, say that this, this show was, like, amazing. And I think, like, the ending made me ball. Like, literally a whole pulled on, like, three high school strings. And I was like, oh, uh, it might be because I have a kid and stuff. And it's like, that's why I just burst into tears because I have a kid and, you know, I get to see him grow up and do whatever he wants to do and, you know, kind of see that, but, um, you know, you, know, you, you do see that in, when, with, when you have children and stuff, and, yeah, and the filming is amazing, like, and the lighting, the obvious of it, Omni, like the um, setting of it and just totally creepy. Um, I wouldn't say it's a slasher um, because it's not a slasher. It's definitely a supernatural type thriller type stuff. So it's like really creepy as a supernatural stuff. But it's definitely really good acting. Like I love the acting so much. So, um, highly recommend that show. Um, I finally finished it. Whoa, it was a ride. It was a ride. I can tell you it was a ride. And, um, you don't really expect what happens. Like, in the first, from the first episode, it takes you on this great ride. So, I highly recommend it. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. What are you doing with your life? You need to watch it. It's creepy fun. It's definitely perfect for Halloween. So I highly recommend that show to you. Um, very different twist on it as well because it does have like multiple twists but it's like in the show, in within the episode. So you are definitely in for a ride. Um, and I hope you are enjoying the videos that I'm posting. Check down below. Um, well, actually, don't check down below, but, um, anyway, just subscribe if you haven't already. I'm doing a Halloween horror stuff, so, yeah, um, I am going to be filming another video, um, later on today, um, so, yeah, um, please stay tuned and hit subscribe, hit the notification bell when I bring, um, post new videos so you can see them right away. Um, and I hope you have a great day. Bye!